is gone. I genuinely can't believe it. He's been... Can you explain it? Not really. 35. And Denise. I wish him well. I wish him well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you... Casper's gone. He's been with us 11 years. In the summer, if you would have asked one of the players that was going to leave, you would have said Vestergaard, Bertrand. And we didn't really have that clear out. But Schmeichel. I think he's our most capped player of all time. He's one of the most capped players of all time. And it just, it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't feel right. In order to make him, no, it just doesn't work. I'll show you it at the moment. It's just, it's not, it's not good. It's just weird. Why Nice? Why now? Where is this coming from? Something must have happened behind the scenes. Something must have happened. Because... He was in his prime. He was in his prime as a keeper. He wasn't sorry. He wasn't in his prime. He was good enough to keep playing, but he just he's gone. And I can't explain it. I can't explain why he would leave Leicester to go to Nice. He talked about last year he wants to play in the Champions League. Now he's playing the Conference League. Something's fishy, man. Something is fishy. Schmeichel's been loyal to us for a long, long time. There have been a lot of people interested in him, and he didn't want to move. He liked it here. His family are here. And now he's no longer a Leicester player. And he's achieved so much, so much with us, that I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked that he's gone. The saves he's pulled off. We were terrible at defending set pieces. And Cash Michael was one of the reasons. He never left his line. But we knew that. And Rob Tanner has said as well, he preferred a defender that didn't leave his line so you know who to deal with. And now, this needs a big hole. Danny Ward's a good keeper. Daniel Iverson's a young keeper. Jakubovic is gone, so we haven't got three keepers. When we said clear out, this is not what we mean. When Brendan said a refresh, this is not what we mean. This is going to take me a while to get over. Because it doesn't make any sense. We need leadership. We need somebody that's been there, that's done it. And Schmeichel's that. Schmeichel's that. The man ran towards a burning helicopter when the owner was on fire, when the owner passed away. He ran towards a burning helicopter. You saw the emotion. You saw what it means to him. Nice. There must have been some falling out or something. And it came like that. Nobody would have predicted this one. Castro Michael to Nice? Really? I am still shocked. But he's had some amazing memories with us in the championship. I don't know if you remember, again, a, a lot of, I remember watching them down the championship. And Schmeichel used to, one of the training, one of my favourite memories is going down. And as he's warming up, he's putting the ball in the penalty spot and booting it from one side into the other goal. And just to think of all the things... All the little memories, the amount of times he's come over to the club and clapped us and they sang his name. The amount of times that he's stayed behind and he's rallied the troops from the back to leave to Nice. One million euros? Something's not right. I don't know if it's falling out with the manager. I don't know. It's definitely not Top. Top loves him. 
but maybe Schmeichel needed to go, and that's fine. But he's better than this. If he was going to go to Copenhagen, he's going to go to his like an old his first club where he's from. Totally understand. And he's still an incredible shot stopper. We've got some brilliant keepers in our line. Looking forward. Um, Udunzi, Udu, I can't remember his name, the tall kid from, I think he's Canadian or, Austri or American, I think he's played for the White Caps, I think, and before he joined us. Great keeper. Daniel Ward, Daniel Iverson, Brad Young, another great keeper. Ben Grist, I think, is another great keeper as well. We've got some great keepers, but this is going to leave a hole. I don't know what to say. He has some phenomenal memories. Phenomenal. Some of the saves he's pulled off have been ridiculous. Everybody's going to think of the FA Cup, and obviously so. And some of the saves he's made in games have been unreal. And that's going in. Schmeichel stopped it. How's he done that? When the fence fell apart, Schmeichel managed to save it. He's not made that many mistakes as well. And he's not, the, he's not a keeper that comes off his line but he's a keeper that works hard, that leads by example. And he's on to play in the Conference League for Nice. But just thank you, Michael, for everything. Growing up, watching you. He's 24, he's 35 now. He could have gone to one much better. Much, much better. He's got enough to play for a top team. And we were a top team. We still are to a certain extent. But this one just feels wrong. I'll try and bring up some images at the moment. Um, and some, because I've just saw, saw it on Twitter, just finished work and saw it and just went, what is this? How is this? This feels wrong. Like, let me, let me bring it up now. I didn't expect it to happen this quick. Look at this. Again, this feels wrong. Alex has put out. It just feels awful. It just doesn't work for me. And all he's done for us and all, all the... He stayed by us and... Man, what a keeper. What a legend. The word legend gets thrown around so much. But at least Capital are left on his terms. You never want to see your heroes fall off and become nothing. And he leaves with his head held high. Yes, we were problem problems at pieces. Part of that was Schmeichel. Part of that was Rogers. Part of that was the other players. Part of that was tactics. And this is not the way that this window was supposed to go. Remember back, back at the beginning of the window? Re rebuild is coming. Certain players need to leave. Certain players were looking like they were saying farewell for the first for the last game playing for the club. And now we've just gone and got rid of a legend. On his terms, at least. But I just hope Klopp, I'm just so gutted that we didn't give Casper Schmeichel the send-off that he deserved. He deserved a phenomenal send-off for what he's achieved with us. Going back to the Premier League season, the win when we won the league, some of the saves he made. I remember West Ham, they had a free kick, bent it around the wall, and he somehow got his hand to it. And he's again a phenomenal player for a phenomenal price. I just remember seeing him and just thinking, what a player. I think he took over on Conrad Logan. Again, if anybody that relatively new or if anybody that doesn't know, just let me know if that was right. And little young keeper. And watching his documentary recently, um, he said only less than a year ago, he wants to be a one-club player. He wants to stay at a club for his life. He said in the documentary on the ITV that he wants to do that. And he's gone to Nice for free. Something's not quite right. My, my, not just in terms of the transfer, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I know he'll be a great keeper, but this leaves a big hole, big boots to fill. Big, big boots to fill. Danny Ward's got a hell of a job. Good keeper. Has he got the shot stopping us, Michael? There isn't very many that's got a shot stopping us, Michael. Will they replace him? We'll have to see. We trust the club. We want, we know the club are in a good place. But this one stings. This one stings me. We've talked about this for a while that, oh, Schmeichel's got one year left on his deal. Is he going to extend it? I don't know if we were talking to Rob about this as well. Where he goes, oh, Schmeichel will get an extension. His leadership will be missed. Really will be. Johnny Evans is that new guy now. Jimmy Vardy is still there. Then you're looking at all Brighton. Jimmy Vardy and all Brighton, the only two remaining from 2016. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I've kind of lost the words. And it's not the usual type of video, but some of the memories he's made with us. And I'm not just talking about, oh, winning the FA Cup, winning the Premier League. Some of the stops he's made from corners, from set pieces, from Sevilla, the double save from Sevilla. Incredible, man. And just seeing it go through Twitter and stuff, but seeing LCFC confirm it was just gut-wrenching. Gut-wrenching. He's just done so much, man. And it just makes me so sad seeing him leave. Were we going to move on from him? Yes. Did he deserve a send-off? Yes. This one hurts. Andy King hurt, but we had time to process that. For me, Andy King really hurt. If you don't know, um, my Premier League winning shirt has Andy King on. I grew up watching Andy King. Seeing him leave was like, okay, we're seeing it, a legend go. And best of luck to him. This one has come in no time at all. Farewell to Ross Michael, man. Best of luck. But this one hurts. This one's going to take more than Brentford to get over. Because we'll be okay. But my God, this one hurts. I've not been this hurt for a long time. I don't know if you can tell. Normally I'm quite a beat and stuff, but if you've watched him for years... You know how much he means. If you've been down to the ground, you know how much he, he commands that box. The celebrations he does from the other end, the, the energy that he brings, the, the, the great Dane that he is. And it's all gone. In a week. Week, two weeks, Max. There was more rumours of him leaving last time. And now he's just disappeared. No new incomings. Squad might be under 25 now. But not like this. Not Schmeichel. Not him. Not him. Not like this. That's not how you treat a legend. A genuine legend. Like the word, yeah, we mentioned before, legend gets thrown around so much. He's a genuine legend. And I'm just sad. We, was going, we were going to have to move on, and that's fine. And we will. And we'll be back against Brentford, and we'll do the post-match for that. And I still won't be over it. I've just come back from holiday yesterday, late last night. And I've been reading the rumours. But now... Main number one is gone. A legend of the club. Like people will see Matt Elliott and even somebody like Muzzy, is it? This guy's above that in legendary status. Above that. I just hope he comes back. And he's always spoke so well. 
handled himself impeccably. No drama, no problems. Gets on with his family man. Kind of like dad vibes, especially when he was older, like that vibe of like somebody just walks out of your life. I'm shocked, man. I'm shocked. I've got nothing else to say. Thank you for everything, Michael. You will be severely missed by me. And you'll always be one of the best keepers that's ever played for the club. I wasn't around the Gordon Banks era or the Peter Shilton era. I knew they were magnificent keepers. See you guys in a bit.